Okay, let's go read this. Um, my body. Nebari to koe o kake tara kao o akete hon o ikioi yoku tojita. Hi. So the person doing koe o kake do is a different person than the one who's doing the kao agete and the hon o tojiru. Close. Hi. Close the book. Um. Nebri to koe o kake tara. While, while the person is calling out, nebri. Um. Oh, when? When? Hi. Uh, kao o. I get that. He, he lifts up his face and he closes the book. How does he close the book? He Softly? He, he violently iki oi. Iki doi. He iki, vigorously closed the door. Hi. Do you know what mao means? This is flutter. Fluttery yeah, dance. Yeah, perfect. Right? Yep, it is a fluttery dance. And this is what the kanji looks like. How do you read this kanji? Ma -u -ma -u. Perfect. Can you read this sentence from our past? Ichidan jo, no, Ichidan agaru tabi ni uh, hokori ga. My agaru, agaru. When, 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 every, every time he go up a step, agaru, okori ga my agaru, the dust flies up. Perfect. Or up. Now you get to go read a line from the book. Okori ga mo mo to mai agaru. Mo mo to. It's a sound dense. effect, which means death. So the dust. Right. The dust flies up, or dense a dense amount, or densely fly up. I would almost say like a cloud. Is probably how I'd translate Flat. this. Because the thing that's commonly described as mole mole is fog. Right, like a dense fog. Um, out of curiosity, fog why do you think this dust has suddenly floated up in such a large amount? Do you remember? Because he hong o to yep. he closes the yep. hong, and he did hong, it oh. vigorously <laughs> as well. I... Yep. Oh no. Yeah, it's gonna cause a lot of things. Do you know what sagasu means? Sagasu. 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 To look for something that is not yours. Perfect. Sagashi. Hi. Do you know what this word means? It means um, crisis or danger. Uh, I think abunai, but it's not abunai. It's, uh, it has ki, the kanji ki, ki, ki. for abunai. Yep, key key. Perfect. It's just two keys. Key. Key. The key from Abunai and the key from um lots of things. Like machinery. Um this word's fun. It's basically an automatopedia like word, kshami, which is a sneeze. Ksha. 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 Hi. Hi. Ksha. Um, sneeze. Can you read this example sentence for me? Um hey. The guard sneeze. Perfect. And how do you read this word? This is kikai. 
Yep, Kikai. So keep an eye on these kanji because you're going to be seeing a new word. Can you read this for me? Kigen. Yep, Kigen. Perfect. So Kigen is your temper. And it's not necessarily like a bad, it's like whatever mood you're in. It's your mood is Kigen. And um, it Kigen. starts with Ki from Kikai and Kiki. You know what it ends with? It ends with Gen. Yep. Kigen. Um, can you read this word for me? Fukigen. Perfect. Fu Kigen. So Kigen is your mood. Fu is the is un, right? So un mood is a bad mood. Fu Kigen. Hi. Um, can you read this sentence for me? Machutsushi wa fu uh machutsushi wa kigen ga yi. The magician is in a good mood. Exactly. The magician's in a good mood. Literally, it is the mood is good about we're talking about the magician. Um, so this word ends with Kigen. What did it start with? Kigen. Perfect. Kigen. Do you know what kosuru means? Ore wa meo kosuri. Ore wa meo kosuri is to rub. Hi, perfect. Right, one your eye. Yep, it is to rub. Perfect. And how do you read this bolded word? Fukigen. Perfect. Now you get to go read the line that from the was... book. Oh wait, actually, do you remember how to read this kanji? Uh, hana. hana. Perfect. Nose. Now you can read it. Nebari wa. Kushami o shi. Nobody sneeze. Hana o. Kusuri nagara. While he's rubbed his nose. Nanda, he say what? To. Fukigen so ni. Koeta. Kotaeta. He. Kotaeta. Kotaeta. He reply. In a bad mood, it it it's so only like in in a seems like he's in a bad mood. I, because the main character can't read Nebri's mind. Hi. Uh, what does he Kigen reply so... with? Nanda, you can say what? Perfect. What? Um. Next is um the volational form of kudu is a little bit irregular. Can you read it for me? Um koyo. Perfect. Koyo. You know what the causative form of hakobu is? Hako causative. Hakobaseru. Perfect. Hakobaseru. To allow someone to carry or to make someone carry. Okay, so let's start with this half, which is Khan talking. What does Khan say? Uh, he say majutsu, majutsu no dogu no hako ga uh, shita ni ikutsu mo. The first part is um, the box that has the tool, the magic tools, it's Ikutsu Moaru. Ikutsu mo aru. Shita ni ikutsu mo aru. It's um it, it went down. Good guess. What does aru mean? This is a verb that weirdly enough tends to make you struggle a bit. 
it exists. So it exists. It, so you can't be exists. moving if you're existing. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> if it's going down, you'd have to have a moving verb like iku or ochiru or anything that has some kind of action um, insinuated in it. But aru has no actual physical action insinuation other than the act of existing. So it means it exists at this location, um, which is where? Sitani, below. Yes, because remember, they're on the third floor right now. So below, there are some boxes with magical tools on them. Do you have any idea how many boxes there are? Ikusumo, an unknown amount. Hi, Ikusu. it is an unknown amount. But do we have like a guess of how many? Would you say there's like one or like a hundred if you had to pick a number? It's three or more. Hi, it is it's several. There are several boxes. So, so definitely more than one. Probably not a hundred. <laughs> then we have mm dakedo, which is doesn't really mean anything. It's just helping him start the next thing, which is a question. So in Japanese, if you start a statement to lead into a question, you're going to end it with something like mm dakedo. That's just how that works it's that old lady anyway that my grandma uses to end her sentences but here it's being used as a softener literally is um but um which you could use in english we tend to use so i think um there's several boxes down below so hakonde koyoka hakonde koyoka Move. We'll we'll move them. That is part of his question. Could, Hakobu right? does have to do with moving. How specifically are he is he gonna be moving them with Hakobu? We carry carry Hai, them. So carrying them. And then he says koyo, which is in what form? Volitional. Yeah, we so are how going to volition? carry them. Yeah, it could be we're going to specifically it's um it's one person, but a lot of times it's adds a invitation for someone else to do it with you. It means I'm going to carry them is what this is. Specifically, he's gonna carry them in what direction? We got ko from kuru. Hakonde kuru? Hakonde koyo. I see. We're gonna bring them up here. Hi. We're carrying them up here. And then this ka turns let's into shall. So rather than saying let's go, which would be hakonde koyo, it became koyoka. So it's a question saying, shall I carry them up? Hi. So all together, it is there's several books down below. So should I shall I bring them up? Should I bring them up? And what does Nebody respond with? No, don't touch them. Beneto ni hakobaseru. Let Bennett do it. Hi, perfect. Let, let it be Bennett. Let it be Bennett. He should. Uh, specifically, let Bennett carry. Or... Yeah, let Bennett carry. Bennett will be forced to carry could be another way you could translate that because it's future will and to cause the force to cause um can you read this word for me um, yo dokusho is how this is read it dokusho. is a yo from yomu but it's dokusho um this means reading like yondeiru <laughs> Um, so it ends with sho. Do you know what it started with? Doku. Perfect. So let's go read this line. Nebari wa doku sho ni modori. Nebari went back to reading. Ore wa heyao o mimawashita. I 
look around the room. Perfect. And how do you read this word? Fu Kigan. Perfect. Which is a bad mood. How about this word? Gotaeta. Hi. Perfect. And that's actually how far I got to preparing our lesson. So we're going to have to end about seven minutes early. So sorry about that. Uh, the rest of the pages are not 